All right, good morning to you. It is uh, 5.19, and uh, before the day is done, we'll be feeling some effects of Tropical Storm Fay. Uh, an impressive-looking storm that was... We were watching yesterday back on Wednesday as it was churning near the uh, outer banks of North Carolina and now moving up this way. And it's got just enough organization to it that the National Hurricane Center put a uh, name to it. That's really all that happened. The storm is no stronger. It didn't blow up in our face. This is just something that we're going to have to deal with as we wrap up the work week and head into the weekend. Here's what you need to know. We'll start with a look at the timing, which is going to be about later on this afternoon into Saturday morning. And I think the worst of this storm is going to be bands of heavy rain and some big winds and wind gusts. Uh, to have a tropical storm, you need 45 mile per hour maximum uh, sustained winds. Now, it doesn't mean you have to have 45 mile per hour wind gusts, uh, but we might get some close to that. And in the impact, there's gonna be localized flash flooding possible with this later on. That's why we have a flash flood watch in effect for the entire state, tropical storm warnings in effect for the shoreline. Here's the current temperatures, and then we'll get to the meat of the story. 74 right now, Hartford, New Haven 72, in Groton 74, and Bridgeport. There is Fay uh, hitting uh, much of, uh, looks like Cape May uh, in uh, Jersey up through, uh, not well, Atlantic City starting to see the first of the feeder bands now and then down through uh, Delaware. Now this storm will continue tracking to the uh, north west just a little bit so it'll go right up the hudson valley uh and kind of just clip connecticut as it does moving to the north at 10 miles an hour max winds at 50 miles an hour so yes tropical storm status and again the track goes right by connecticut you can see the cone of error taking it to about i-91 but i think this is going to push a little farther to the west and remember over land the storm weakens so not overly concerned with the storm in terms of a of a direct hit that said as you'll see with the guidance we'll see enough effects from a near miss that it'll still cause some trouble you'll see that trouble by five o'clock look at the rain really starting to pick up along 84 from waterbury to danbury and moving to the north into litchfield county some more bands of rain overnight and by tomorrow morning things start to wind down by about one o'clock things look like they'll be done maybe a little more rain on the western border winds and wind gusts let's see the numbers and see what we're expecting upwards of 40 miles an hour in bridgeport 30 35 across the rest of the state so is that good for power outages possibly look at the rain totals this is interesting you've got uh, on the west side of the state two and a half inches of rain in danbury yet for hartford through enfield uh, about a half an inch so you see that clearly uh, i-91 is going to be the cutoff for this storm 75 at 8 o'clock 80 at noon uh, 77 at 5 o'clock as we take a look at the seven day forecast uh, we will look at uh, the temperatures getting to 82 today, down to 73 tonight, 87 as the rain ends tomorrow, and 91 for Sunday. Uh, again, uh, I want to make this clear. It's a storm that we have to watch, and obviously there are some minor concerns with the flash flooding potential, the heavy rain, and the wind. But this is a big storm on the levels of, say, Irene or Sandy, what we've seen in the last decade here. The answer is absolutely not. But still, let's be prepared for this and not scared. Margo, over to you.